new to Natoli Engineering. My name is Dave Perry. I've been with the company for 35 years. I'm a system production manager. Uh, I'm going to go over some PowerPoints with you on different issues with tooling, like J-hook, cup depth, and also show you how to refurbish your tools. A common problem out in the pharmaceutical tool and die industry with the tooling is J-hook. What causes J-hook is misalignment of your upper punch to your die. What causes that problem is the die pockets are possibly wore out and when you lock in your die, you're pushing the die out of center, which causes your upper tip to hit the bevel of the die, which causes the edge of the tool to start getting wear, which creates J-hook. Cup depth. Uh, from when you refurbish your tool, you have a slight change in your cup depth. With that in mind, when new tooling being received from the manufacturer, your cup depth tolerance is to the specification that's on your print. Once you use these tools and have wear to these tools, your cup depth can change up to 15%. With that in mind, when I give you the hands-on training and show you how to refurbish your cup, I will show you how to measure your cup depth. And this is where you'll see the difference in before and after. This segment's on drag finishing of tools. Uh, drag finishing of tools is a way, a method of polishing your tool, but this method is not recommended for refurbishing your cups and restoring your land on your tools. Uh, drag finish will remove your sharp edge on your lower or on your tip of your tool in an extent of time. Polishing by hand is the most recommended way of refurbishing your tool. The equipment that you need to use for refurbishing your tools and repolishing your tools are an unsewn cotton wheel, white polishing paste which you apply to the cotton wheel, and a 400 grit stone. With that in mind, you also need a polishing unit. This is where I'm going to show you how to repolish your tools and repair J-hook, increase tool life, and this is something you can do in, internally in your own plant with the proper training. Earlier we were talking about J-hook. If you can look at this tool here and look at the edge of the tool and see how rounded off it is, remember me speaking about how the upper punch was hitting the bevel of the die. As you can see, the edge of the tool is rounded off, which that in turn will roll the edge, which is called J-hook, inside the cup. To repair it, it's very simple, by using the buffing wheel. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit how to do that. Another problem out in the industry is your special shape tooling starts losing its edge. It starts getting a sharp edge which that can create a breaking point. I'm going to show you how to repair that and repolish that. One of the biggest problems I see out in the industry is handling of the tools in the pharmaceutical industries. Uh, handling of the tool, what I mean by that is being banked, being hit, mishandling loading into the press, mishandling from the press room to the tool room. Very important that your operators understand this is a precise instrument. When you damage that, that tool is going to be non-functional. I can show you how to repair some of the small damage that happens to tools. With that in mind though, please let your operators understand that it's a very precise instrument that they're dealing with. When you're loading the press, unloading the press, handling of the tool at any part of the time. From the time you receive it to the time it goes into the press. Before polishing a tool, I'm going to measure this tool just to see where the dimension of that tool is at. This way I can reassure that I'm not damaging the tool after I polish it. Because so I'll measure it before and I'll measure it after. What I'm going to measure is the cup depth of the tool. The way I'm going to do this is by setting the tool on this cup Put it underneath the indicator, zero that indicator out, flipping it, measuring to the bottom of the cup. 
This will give me my precise measurement of my cup depth. On this precise, on this certain tool, it's at 40 cup. Now I'm gonna polish it and see how much I'm going to remove. What I'm gonna show you is that it doesn't take very much refurbishing in the, of the tool to repair it without removing a lot of material. In order to do this operation, you need to have safety glasses on for your safety. Number two, a nice soft cushion pad in case you would happen to drop the tool, you don't damage the tool. From there on, we're ready to polish. What I'm going to do is apply a little white compound to the wheel. Polish the outside of the tip. At a 45 degree angle, I'm going to be able to see inside the cup as I'm polishing. The white polish, rotate the tool. J-hook is removed, refurbished the cup, strengthened the tip of the cup, and now let's measure the tool and see how much I've removed. Remember, I was at 40,000 cup depth. After polishing of the tool, we want to measure it. As you see, we're set at zero. I'm going to flip the tool, and what we're measuring is the cup depth of the tool. And as you can see, I removed minus 1.00 in millimeters which is approximately probably five tenths in inches. So I removed pretty much nothing off the tool, but I did repair the J hook on the tool and refurbished the cup and strengthened this cup. All right, we've gone over how to repair J hook. Now to refurbish land on a tool to strengthen the tip of the tool and give it more life, we're gonna use a 400 grit stone. As, I've, as you can see, I've got a tool here. It's, the edge of the tool is very sharp. What can happen there is the tool can start chipping. And what that is from is just from wear. So what we're going to do is go ahead and measure the tool. Zero it out. And I'm going to take a 400 grit stone and I'm going to refurbish the edge of the tool cup of the tool by doing a light stoning and what this does is strengthen the tool as you can see now there's a flat all the way around the edge of the tool how much material did I take off that tool let's put it back underneath the indicator measure it As you can see, it's 0 0.05. So I haven't removed very much of that tool at all. But once I've done this operation, I need to rebuff this tool to blend the land back out. Now I'm going to go ahead and buff the tool. Here again, I'm going to apply the white compound to the wheel. 45 degree angle. As you can see, it's nice and blended in. The cup is refurbished. And it took a matter of seconds to do this repair. And as you can see, by remeasuring the tool, I haven't removed very much material at all. But I've refreshed the tool and gave tool life back to that tool. As we talked earlier about J-hook, when I spoke about the die, what I was mentioning about the die is how the die has been mishandled and burred up. With the little burrs on the die, when you install this back into your die table, it starts shaving the die walls. What happens there is your die wall starts getting larger and larger, and when you seat your die in there and you put your die lock screw to lock it in, you're throwing it out of center. So with that in mind, if you can, is one, handling of the die is very important. Two, if you do have burrs on your dies, take your stone, your light stone, get the burrs off before you reinstall it back into your die table. 
and that will decrease the possibility of wearing out your ID of your die table, which could cause it to be out of spec. As you can see, this tool's got some discoloration to it. The mirror finish is starting to get unpolished. So I'm going to show you a way to refurbish that by using the buff wheel. Quick, easy method for restoring the luster to your head flats. As you can see, it's back to manufacturing the way you received it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I was happy to give it to you from Natoli Engineering. I uh, hope you picked up some points on how to repair your own tools and damage that could occur in your plants. And if you have any issues about refurbishing tools or you need rework done to your tools, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you again.